Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of E-Belt and Son. I'm up at my grandpa's house right now. Uh, if you noticed in, or paid attention in the last video, we recently reacquired this over a BS court battle. The property is back in our possession, so thank God for that. It's back in the right hands, and I'm going to be using the perks that this place has to offer. Now, this is... I'm in the garage right now. You just saw that monster mess that I just cleaned up. Basic end of it. The tenants that were here last were idiots and they made a mess of everything. So I probably carried like 15 garbage canfuls out of the garage here. Still need to sweep the floor, but uh, look at this. It's going to play a good little role in the Fastback project. We got bad weather scheduled for at least another week for sure. And that car, the 67 Ford Mustang Fastback, it is, uh, it's my best friend's car. It has a four-speed manual transmission and then 289 V8. It's got an overheating issue and a couple cylinders are low on compression. So we are just going to start with a couple more tests right off the bat. And then we're just going to pull the heads more than likely and see what surface is. Maybe the engine needs to pull. But I didn't want to do it in my little, you know, parking garage thing that is at the house. And look at this. That car should fit in here no problem. Give me plenty of room to work on it with the doors closed because that I'm working with the, you know the rain and stuff open up an engine that's just not a good idea and i didn't really want to wait to get that project going plus since it's going to be raining we can't work in the rain uh, i mean we could but it's just a sloppy mess and machines just you know, they sink in the dirt when it starts raining so we're taking some downtime and i'm trying to make the most of it so i brought the car up here like I need to sweep the floor and we're gonna get the car in here my best friend the owner of the car He will be in town for the next two months So I'm gonna take advantage of the fact that he will actually be here to help out with it and Make him come over and turn a wrench and learn a couple tricks as we're working on it So I'm gonna go ahead and sweep this out and then back that Larry in here and on a side note The car is cool, but it's kind of annoying because I'm always worried about it I'm always worried if it'll fall off the trailer or if I'm driving it around. I'm always worried somebody's going to run into it. So having a car like that is awesome, but it sucks so much at the same time, and everybody wants to ask questions on it. So we'll get that out of the way right now because that was uh, something I wanted to mention. It's more nerve-wracking than it is fun to have something like that. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. Get the car in here.
Well, it's nothing perfect, but it will do the job. Got plenty of room. I'll take this. I don't even know what that window goes to, but big old window right there. I'll take that and put that somewhere else, and I'll up, set up a little workbench right there for staging all the parts that come off the top of the engine here. And the cold blooded old machine. It's, it stumbled to life just there a little bit for a second, but it's kind of running a little rough. I had already drained all the water out of the block, you know, because it's not antifreeze in there. I did not want it to freeze, so had already drained all that out of there, so I didn't want to run it too long because it overheats when it's got water in there. So there's the Ford guy. So I did not want to run it for very long, so just nursed it in here real quick. Got it set up. I think the other GoPro is actually still on the trailer getting rained on. So, 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 so. We got a little bit of tolerance at the back. I'm going to set up some more scotch blocks so this thing can't move anymore. But, yeah. Had to pull the cover out of the trunk because it got rained on, obviously. So I wanted that to dry out rather than soak up and get mildew and mold and crap. But yeah, there it is right there. That's my buddy's dream car and he kind of hates it because old cars take a lot of work. We'll try getting her going. I mean, it's a pretty car. He's got some new tires on it. Got a new stereo in it. I mean, it's pretty clean rig. Costs a lot of freaking money, but it's clean and doesn't run very well. Uh, it, it's fired up every time I wanted to move it. Uh, I've only fired it up like three four times in the last like four months and it's fired up every time so Go figure, but I'm gonna go ahead and close these doors. and I'm gonna back the bus That's what we call it. If you don't know that is the bus the blazer 85 K or 89 89 blazer K5 I'll back it up so that the spare tire is pushing up against these doors So that nobody's gonna get that out of there and there's an alarm system on the bus. So that is uh it's going to be a security guard for us. I like it. Then you give it a little locked and loaded. See you guys. Thanks.